The fighting in Gaza is one of the Middle East's bloodiest assaults in decades. So far, it's killed more than 550 Palestinians, including at least 200 civilians. The Israeli death toll stands at five. About 2,500 people have been wounded. The region's largest hospital is overwhelmed with casualties. Ten days into Israel's assault on Hamas, the constant stream of dead and wounded is forcing doctors and nurses to work day and night. UN health officials say Israel has allowed a shipment of medical supplies into the Gaza Strip, which struggles to function behind an Israeli blockade. The UN's biggest concern is maintaining power at area hospitals. Israel cut the power to Gaza City three days ago. The city's biggest hospital is now relying on backup generators that threaten to break down at any moment. Hamas is still firing rockets into Israel, and Israel refuses to halt its attack until Hamas agrees to stop firing rockets. The international community is trying to stop the bloodshed on both sides. French President Nicolas Sarkozy hopes to broker a ceasefire by holding talks with Israeli, Palestinian and Arab leaders. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.